Hi everyone, it's Catherine Nicholson Perry here from Australian College of Applied Psychology. Just touching base around some things that we can all do to help manage some of the anxiety that COVID-19 is causing for pretty much everyone in our community at the moment. First up, get the facts. Make sure you're getting your information from reputable sources. For example, the Australian government website or independent fact-checking organisations like fullfact.org from the UK. If it's something in relation to ACAP and your studies with us, then check that fact. Have a look at our website. We've got a, a dedicated page now for updates on the coronavirus and any changes that are happening that you need to be aware of. But if there are other things, please just get in touch. Let us know. We want to keep you in the loop. Don't forget though to take some time out. Things are changing fast and I know it feels like you can't take your eye off the news, but in reality, it's not so far that you can't take a break from it. And it's better for everyone's mental health not to be listening to the news all of the time. So maybe set aside a couple of times a day when you get an update from a reputable source. And for the rest of the time, give your brain a bit of a rest from the bombardment of information that's coming our way at the moment. It's also really important to keep things in perspective. There's a lot of speculation and scaremongering, lots of uh, rumours swirling around on social media. And we know that the risks of the unfamiliar threat seem much larger than the risks of the everyday threat. For example, if there were an influenza bug that was around at the moment that was behaving in the same way as COVID-19, we would be likely to feel less panicked by it just because it seems more familiar. And the other thing to remember is just to think about the way that you as a person behave when you are feeling anxious about something and think about ways your choices about what you do in this situation either add fuel to the fire or can damp things down. So some of us just want to get into all the detail. Others of us want to run and hide when we are under threat. So think about what might work best for you and resist the urge to do things that will add fuel to the fire. It's also really important to maintain routines, although we might have to do that a bit differently these days. So that includes things like trying to get some exercise, uh, getting sleep regularly, looking after ourselves in terms of our nutrition. But it also means maintaining connections. And this is a, a photograph of our discipline of psych science academic team inaugural virtual coffee break which we had yesterday afternoon and you can see there are quite a few people on the screen we've got John Reese calling in from uh, from Melbourne campus we've got Graham Senior who was working from home we've got Rachel Haynes who was working from home in Queensland and then we've got a few of the different members of the team in Sydney working both on campus and from home so we've just set up a half an hour each day where we can touch base with one another and we can uh, keep connected. We can talk about the kind of things that we would normally talk about if we bumped into each other going and making a coffee. So those kind of routines are really important and there are some really interesting ways emerging that we can stay connected to one another. Last but not least, stay safe. Stay home if you're unwell. We're making arrangements, as you know, from next week to be able to provide the opportunities for everybody to study online so that you don't have to come into campus, although you can if you want to because the campuses are still open at this stage. But if you are around other people, then practice social distancing. We had the uh, Be Psych Psych Honest Research Day yesterday, and this is a few of the people who were in the room with me listening to presentations. We just made sure that we stayed far enough apart from one another to stay safe. So no doubt you still have questions. No doubt there are still things that will make you feel anxious. And that's really understandable in these circumstances. If there are things that we can do to help support you, information you need from us, please let us know. We will do our best to get you the information that you need. And in the meantime, please look after yourself, look after each other, and we'll get through this together. Thank you.